Hello and welcome to this video. We're playing Marco Graysar. Or we might be if he moves. He does move. D4. Um, okay, so knight f6. G6. Knight c3. Uh, D6. Bishop g7, so we're getting a King's Indian. And this is the four pawns attack. Uh, okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. So, c5, d takes. That's one way to break the pawns up. Um, e5, takes, takes, takes. Kind of tempting to play e5, I know it's not theory, but d takes, takes. It's kind of wild, isn't it? Ah, oh, let's just play it. I don't know. <laughs> let's just play it. Okay, so d5 played. Okay, well, that's uh, something at least is that, you know. Um, so c6, knight takes e5. We can play rook e8. e8. Do I want to play rook e8 now? I think rook e8 looks good. Um, we're trying to break up the pawns with something like c6, c takes d5. Um, oh, we're just trying to show that these pawns are overextended. That's the main idea. So bishop g5, that's fine. Um, I don't think there's anything concrete to win this. So let's try and play c6, c6, d6. Is this an idea? d6, rookie 5 c5. I don't know. I don't know. Just pre-move that recapture in case he should take. I'm sure that D C is not a move. What I'm what I'm most interested in okay, so Sorry, forgive me, that's the other video loading. Okay, so we play C D, C D. Um so we've got Queen B six is kind of interesting. Queen B six to stop white castling. What's the answer to that? Queen b6 also unpins the knight. It's kind of f looks kind of f funky that move actually. Queen b6. Yeah, let's go for that. I don't know. Queen b6 with stopping the castle and hitting b2. Presumably it doesn't work, but I don't see an immediate refutation. What else do I want to try and play in this position? Maybe bishop g4. Maybe knight bd7 c5 to pressurize e4. Um, what's white going to play here? Rook b1, probably, maybe queen c2. Queen c2 looks quite nice. Queen c2, maybe bishop g4 immediately. Or maybe knight a6 to c5. Bishop g4 makes more sense to get the bishop out before we... Um, I mean, actually, knight a4 could be good here. Knight a4, but knight a4, queen b4, check. And then... Yeah, okay, so why not why not this? Ah, but bishop d2, bishop d2. Bishop d2, then queen takes e4 there, right? So why not? Why not this? Bishop d2, queen takes e4. Queen takes... Okay, um, well, that's okay. That doesn't seem to help you. I mean, I've got... And I could just come back with queen takes b t queen takes b two now hitting c three and a one rook b one would be no good. You have to do something about your knight. I mean, I could actually come in, or I can just play knight takes e four now. Can't I just play? Why not knight takes e four? I mean, knight takes e four. Yeah, I mean that that's got to be okay, hasn't it? What am I missing here? Knight takes e four, hitting the bishop. I feel like these pawns have been well and truly broken up, so now again it's just time, isn't it? So, okay, so we can actually take the bishop on g5, and then after knight takes g5, there's a hit on a 7 that doesn't look nice. Or we can take twice on c3, which does look nice. Or we can play queen c5. Or we can play queen takes. No, queen takes b2 is no good. Mm. Yeah, let's just take this one off. Um, the 
could be c queen g4 queen c3 rook rook c1 queen g4 knight moves knight can't move because of queen takes g5 queen c5 check kind of loath to give you the c file by queen takes but I'm not sure if we've got another option here. Queen takes, rook takes, rook c1, queen where? Queen where? Queen back to b4. Okay, so this is one of those spots. I'm going to have to just crack on now because we're going to run out of time. So we're going to play queen a5 in answer to rook c1. Looking at the d5 pawn, if d6, probably play bishop d7, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, I mean we're two pawns up here so okay bishop c4 looks good, um, bishop d7, maybe bishop b5 is playable, I'm not sure, Don't want to play f6 really at any time because that just opens up the bishop. But bishop b5 looks good. Okay, so let's just get this in now. I mean, if takes, takes, and I'm looking at d7. d7 immediately, I can just take it. So knight takes e5 is not playable. Bishop e7 is playable. That's That's interesting. So my idea is taking here in the knight d7. And then rook c7. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Black's better, but... Uh, I don't know if I've got enough time. Got some interesting idea here with e4, actually. e4 is kind of interesting, because hits the knight. But after bishop takes c4, rook takes e4, but e4... If the knight moves, this is attacking the knight, if the knight moves, then this g5 bishop's hanging. So what's white looking at here? Okay, just took there. I guess we have to take this off. Um, ooh, wow, okay. Um, if I take queen d5 check, king here, Takes twice on that square. Gosh, I don't know. Um, blah. Ah, I don't know. Queen d5. Yeah, queen d5. I mean, I can block this, actually. What's happening then? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, goodness me, goodness me, goodness me. That's no good. What am I doing? It's just knight moves. Knight takes e5, check. Oh, goodness, goodness me, Tim. Goodness me, what can I do about this? Can I do anything? Knight takes e5 checks coming, whatever I do, right? Ah, Tim! <laughs> Knight e5 check. I don't have anything. It's just me. Oh no, I can take on f1! I can't take on f1 because I lose my queen on a5. Ugh, oh, goodness me, so horrible. This is a nice sacrifice there, very nice sacrifice. And I think I should have just declined it and gone king h8, and then if takes on e8, I've got bishop takes e8. But I didn't have that anyway. Okay, well this was this is all right actually. I'm going to just take this off. Um, this is not okay. So let's try that. Rook takes here, then bishop takes, and then I lose my queen. Yeah, but what else can I do? Knight e5. Queen b6 check. No, I mean just rook takes d7 is fine here. I don't know why white's. I don't know what white's thinking about here. I'm gonna pre-move that. I don't think I have any choice here anyway. I mean, I'm gonna get mated if I. So let's just play that. I've got queen b6 here. If I can, if I get a chance to play queen b6, that would be nice, because it's with check and I get off this pin. Yeah. Okay, now you get this and. Okay, let's cover that. Yeah, and okay, I got a, I got a check here. Ugh, rook c1. Okay. Huh. 
and about to lose on time. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is the crucial position. Um, honestly, I think White's Busto, um, but I'm not sure how to do this best. The way I played was Knight takes C3, BC, and then I took on C3, and I feel like that that doesn't look quite right. Um, that doesn't look quite right. Maybe Queen to E4 is better here. Maybe even Queen D6. Um, I mean, I don't think Queen takes C3 is losing, but it kind of gives White a lot of play. And I think, you know, already Black's better because we, we've just won a pawn. So this feels like a kind of critical moment. We took on C3, we got Rook C1, I came back to A5, and we can just have a look. It's Queen B4 maybe better here. Queen, Queen B4, Rook C4 though. Bring the rook to the fourth, that looks nice. So queen f5 is played. Bishop c4 look good. I play bishop b5. I think black is still just about okay here. And then d6. And then there was the sacrifice that we missed. Bishop here, and then he went for it. So really, the problem is here, if I take this, I think I'm, it's definitely over. So I think I absolutely must play king h8. And then if bishop takes c8, then I can play bishop takes c8. And... I'm not in good shape here, but I'm okay. Um, I'm, I'm definitely okay for the time being. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. We're a pawn. We have a pawn for the exchange. I think as played, just taking on f7 just must be losing. When I mean, white has a million checks, queen d5, knight e5, discover check. This, this is definitely going to be losing. And I think it's. I think I knew that taking this was just horrible and dicey. And I don't know why I did it. I think I just went for the material and was sort of like, prove it. But obviously, you know, he spent a, a while thinking about that. He's a decent player. He's probably not going to have miscalculated that. So, you know, I think, okay, I missed it. I need to just play something different. So, going back, maybe here, I need to play something different. Uh, maybe just, I don't know what about bishop e6 here? I mean, why not bishop e6? It makes a lot more sense, actually, to block the bishop on this this diagonal. Bishop e6 looks way better. And then if d7 we have... I'm not sure what happens. Can we play d7 there? Well, we can just take this back off. We're not there. We're, we're no worse off. Yeah, so bishop e6 looks better. But actually, yeah. Yeah, so bishop e6 looks better. Um, what did I play? Bishop b5. Also, also probably better is just knight c c6 and just say you know okay what are you doing? Yeah. Knight c6. If you go for the sacrifice now. And I probably still have to go h8, but yeah, bishop e6 looks like a much better try. Oh well, thank you for watching.